warm-up presented by the Blanchard Valley Health System. I'm Mark Hoontz. Matt Finkel will be with us momentarily as we are in the hub of activity that is Finley High School as the Trojans prepare for 2015. Joined now by Trojans head coach Mark Ritzler. And coach, I suppose when you look back at 2014, a great start to the season, but a disappointing finish to the year for you guys. Well, we did win our last game, which was nice to go out on a winning note for those kids. Uh, it was games uh, six through nine that uh, we played some good football teams that came up short. Uh, we ended up winning our last game up on the road up at St. Francis and kind of a monsoon. And, uh, <laughs> you know, that's a good way, good way to finish off the season, uh, you know, after the way we had started. But uh, you're right, we, uh, we, we kind of stumbled the second half of the season against, against some good uh, quality football teams. You look at the track this year, and much like the last couple years, it's a loaded conference. Mm -hmm. Every week in that conference, you have to prepare against a, a Division I college athlete type of team. Absolutely, and, and you think about the four teams that finished at the top last year, you know, uh, Central Catholic, Whitmer, Fremont, Lima, all those teams re had really relatively young athletes on, on their team, so they are all primed and have a lot of great football players coming back. Uh, Central Catholic, obviously, uh, winning the state championship and all the kids they have coming back is probably going to be the preseason favorite. But you're right, from top to bottom, we can throw in St. John's and, and uh, Oregon play as well. We, we're, uh, you know, it's week in, week out. you got to be ready to play football. We know the track is a league dominated by offenses, and you look at the Trojan offense this year, I think the discussion has to begin in the backfield with the running back Emmanuel Mogalu. Yeah, he's a very good football player. He's worked very hard this offseason. Uh, uh, you know, he's in great shape physically. He knows what he's doing on both sides of the football because we're going to have to use him on the defensive side as well. You know, he's one of those rare type of athletes where you just want to get him the ball out in space and let him do what he can do. Uh, but uh, he's really primed and ready to go. I had a great summer, you know, doing the camps and so forth and has some interest from some schools now and so forth. So uh, I think, uh, you know, we obviously want to get the ball to him in as many different ways and, and as many, you know, as much space as possible and let him do his thing. You mentioned Emmanuel's going to have to play both ways. I, I, I suppose that's wanting to get your best 11 on both sides of the ball. Yeah. Do you have any other guys who are going to have to play you both ways? You know what? Ways? We've got a few guys that are going to have to. Maybe not. We, we don't have any full times. And Emmanuel's not somebody that's mm -hmm. going to be a full time two way guy. But, you know, during certain type of teams, maybe a spread team will use Emmanuel over there because of his athletic ability. But we've got a lot of guys. Kyle Nunn's a free safety. He's going to play some receiver. Deion Stinson's a running back. also going to play some linebacker. You know, we've got a few other kids, too, linemen that may give some reps on both sides, some breaks on both sides. No two-way full-time guys. But, uh, you know, I think and now, you know, we've you see everybody, you know, even the big schools like Whitmer, you know, they've got guys that if they're good football players, you know, they may not be all, all the time on both sides of the ball, but they're going to be out there on the field as much as possible. Offensively, outside of Emmanuel, what else do you have coming back? Well, we've got one receiver, uh, Chandler Stillings, that started last year, and we've got a few linemen. Noah Routson started the entire year. He's 6'5 and 280, played right tackle the whole year. And then we've got three other linemen, Dewey Lee, uh, Rick Coleman, and Luke Cosiano, that are back up front that either started part of the year or all of the year due to injuries or whatever. And so that's actually our most experienced group. But uh, really everywhere else, our receivers, uh, our quarterback is going to be new too. Uh, so we're, we're pretty young and experienced on that side. Defensively, we mentioned how good the track is offensively. Does mm -hmm. that change your mindset defensively? Do you go into games thinking, well, we just need to keep it close and our offense can, can win the game for us? Or do you still have to take that mindset of we need to stop the other team's high-powered offense? Yeah, every time out there, every drive that you begin out there, your goal is to get them to punt. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter. We're not looking to hold a team under 30, under, under 20. We just want to get as many stops as we can. Uh, we do have a good kicking game. We'll, we'll talk about our kicker in a second. And we've got to try to make the field as long for the opponent as possible and as short for us due to our kicking game. But, you know, our, our, the, like you said, the athletes, the opponents in our league are so are so potent. You know, it, it, it really, when you look at the scores at the end of the year, it, they're all shootouts. There, there's no 10-6 to 6 ball games. There's there's no very few 14-13 wins in the track. you got to be able to score some points and, and do what you can. I think you'll see most of the defenses now are things that are trying to maybe a little taking some more risks to try to make some big plays happen, try to create some turnovers, give your offenses extra opportunities with possessions. Because really, if you just try to play a sit-back, basic you know, defense, try to keep things in front of you, they're going to find a way. They're going to plug it down the field. They're going to score. You brought up the kicker. It's a great tradition of kickers here mm -hmm. at Finley High School, and Grant McInnes is the next. Yep, seven All-Ohio kickers over the last, gosh, what, 10, 12 years, and he's right there. He's committed to Kentucky uh, as a punter, but, gosh, he could kick there for him as well. And uh, we're fortunate. He popped in a 53-yarder in practice the other day. I mean, he's, he's good and ready to go. 
Um, he's such a weapon on kickoff. I mean, most of the time the team has to drive 80 yards against us. And, and, and I think one thing that you know, maybe take a granted for him with his punt average, you know, his punt average is a little bit lower than it could be because he does such a good job of pinning it along the sideline. We play so many good athletes, we don't want to give him an opportunity out in space. So we try to keep it close to the sideline, which cuts a few yards off his punt average, but he does a great job with his directional punting as well. Taking a look at the schedule, non-conference games, Anthony Wayne, Hamilton, Sylvania, Southview. All of those at home. First four yeah. games at home yeah. this year. Yeah, pretty unique. Six home games all together. Uh, great job by our AD getting that uh, <laughs> six home game. I think our JVs have seven home games. I don't know how that worked out, but uh, you know we're going to take advantage of that. We know uh, we know a lot about Anthony Wayne and South. You playing over the last few years. Tough kids play hard. Great traditions there. Those are going to be two. I'm glad those are at home. Hamilton, we know very little about. It's a one-year contract with them. We know they're down from the Cincinnati area. They have a receiver DB that's committed to Indiana, uh, and so they've and, and seen a little bit of them on film. They got some good athletes. So our first three games, just like last year, just like any year, you want to get off to a great start to build some momentum, especially for as young as we're going to be at on both sides and inexperienced. If we can find a way to get some early season wins, that's going to go a long way for us towards the second half of the year. Six games at Donnell Stadium, a tremendous home field advantage for you over there. Yeah, we're fortunate. We've got brand new field turf down this year. And, you know, just, uh, you know, being at home is, is a big deal. And, uh, you know, actually you begin to worry about that first away game. It's going to feel like, oh, my gosh, you know, are the kids going to be able to adjust to it? But, uh, you know, we're going to take advantage of that. Hopefully we take advantage of that opportunity and, and get some early season wins. Yeah, that first road game at Clay and then next week at St. John's playing, of course, yep. at Toledo Rogers, but making that trip up north. Before that opener, though, with uh, Anthony Wayne, what needs to get accomplished for the Trojans? Well, we got to find, you know, I, I know our local media gets tired of me saying the same thing every year about what we need to be successful on both sides of the ball. And it, it's always the same thing. We got to be able to stop the run. And we got to be able to run the ball. You know, we've got a good running back. We've got some experienced offensive linemen. Right now in camp, we feel pretty good. Now, again, we haven't gone in against any contact. It's been against bags, but I think the kids understand the concepts and what we're trying to accomplish there. You know, it's on the other side of the ball where we're really young, really young, really only one player, Jose Ochoa, is an inside linebacker, is the only one that played last year defensively. Uh, so that that's a, you know, that's our biggest area concern is shoring up the run defense from tackle to tackle inside the box. I think we're going to be okay in the secondary. Um, our linebackers okay in coverage, but we got to be able to stop the run in our league. All right, thank you very much, Mark Ritz. We're going to take a break here on the warm-up presented by Blanchard Valley Health System. When we return, Matt Finkel will join us and talk with some Trojan players here on WOSN. Welcome back to the warm-up. I'm Matt Finkel at Finley High School. This warm-up is presented to you by Blanchard Valley Health System. And I'm joined by a couple Trojan seniors. It's Chandler Stillings, wide receiver to my right, and Noah Rutson on the end, on the offensive line. And guys, we were just talking about it, sitting here before we got started, that you only have to play one way in the numbers with the in a Division I school. How much of an advantage is that for you, Chandler? We'll start with you. Uh, it's really nice, especially being a receiver, because we have so much. We have so many rep repetitions and we have to run so many routes and such. And having to play like a cornerback or a safety position, it'd be it'd be quite a lot. So it's really nice being able to do that and be able to get our breaks so that we can do our reps to the full potential that we have. Without a doubt, it's about le about half the workload of you know dealing with the yeah. defense. <laughs> Noah, how's camp going for you so far? Uh, pretty good. Going one way again is uh, pretty nice. I mean, it's a lot of a lot of plays you gotta understand and. I mean, you can just work on them and not worry about, you know, everything else you got to know. It's pretty nice. Chandler, offensively, I think a lot of people are expecting big things from Finley as they have in the past. How's the offense coming along? And I know you're replacing a quarterback, so how are you connecting with him? Uh, it's it's coming along really well. Uh, Trey, he's getting he's getting into it really quick. He's been doing well. He's been adjusting from JV to varsity. He's getting all the plays down, and uh, we're, we're getting the ball where we need to, and he's doing really well with it. Noah, for you, is, has the line been together for a while, or is the group still gelling? Uh, there's about three of us that have been you know, together a lot. But I mean, there's a couple that are switching in and out. But as of now, I think we've got a pretty good line going. Chandler, interesting scheduling note for you guys, getting four home games to start the season. Yeah. Are you looking forward to that? That's, yeah. I think yeah, that'd be pretty be, cool. Yeah, that would be really nice, being able to start out the year with four home games right away. Noah, what do you like about playing at Donnell Stadium? It's one of the uh, nicer venues well first it's at home but yeah <laughs> <turf. That's> always <laughs> nice. Probably like the turf you like the turf better than the grass some places we go to only have grass and it's a big difference right 
the sport. Jonah, what do you think the uh, strengths of this year's team are? Uh, we, we definitely have a good run game with Emmanuel Magulu coming back. He's been doing really well, and uh, he's, he's coming back for another really strong year. And then also our kicker, Graham McInnes, University of Kentucky commit. He's been, he's been hitting a lot of field goals, and he's been punting the ball really well. And uh, we also have a, we have a really tall and athletic wide receiver core. So we've been, we've been doing really well. We've been making smooth routes, and we're hoping to catch the ball a lot this year, too. And Noah, what's an area you'd like to see improved before week one for the team? Eh, probably the run game a little bit for the, for the line. You just need to not really, we got to get better on it, but I mean just coming off the ball a little harder. Right. And you'll take the time to make sure that gets done in practice so that yep. you're ready to go week one. <laughs> yep. Well, thanks for joining us, guys. Best of luck this season. Right, time for a break you. here yep, on the warm-up presented by Blanchard Valley Health System. When we come back, we'll be joined by some more from the Trojans. Welcome back to the warm up brought to you by Blanchard Valley Health System. Two more Trojans joining me now. It's senior Jose Ochoa inside, linebacker to my right, and junior Kyle Nunn, free safety on the end. Let's talk about the defense a little, Jose. The, it's a young defense, that's what coach just told us. So, how is the group gelling and uh, on the special, specifically on the linebacker position? Um, this year we have a lot more linebackers coming out. Everybody's working hard, competing against each other, make each other better. I think we're going to be pretty good like this year. Kyle, the track is such an offensive league. How do you go about preparing for each team week in and week out and knowing that your defense has to be at its best? Uh, Coach Armstrong does a really good job on preparing us, and we watch a lot of film before we play. And I think if we can stop the run, then everything else comes a little easier. Yeah, Jose, last year you guys got off to a great start, 5-0, and but you know ran into some problems in, later in the season. How important is it to get started on the right foot this year and, and kind of carry that through? Yeah, uh, we have to get a good start this year, but when tough times comes, us seniors have to step up and take charge and push us through it. Kyle, how have you seen this year's seniors begin leading the group and taking charge? Uh, they're a lot more vocal, and they, they have a lot more, I mean, they give us a lot more hype, and we play a lot faster that way, and we play a lot stronger. And I think part of the reason you guys play so hard and so fast is because of Coach Ritzler. What do you like about playing for him as a head coach, Jose? I like playing for Coach Ritzer because he really cares for us. He wants us to do good. He wants us to succeed. Kyle, what about you? What do you like for? Yeah, he always pushes us to do our best. And if we don't do our best, then he always calls us out on it. He doesn't, doesn't like us being slow and sloppy. He always tries to make us perfect. Yeah, accountability is very important. Yeah. Jose, what are the goals for this year's team? I want to make it to the playoffs. And what about for you, Kyle? What are you looking to get out of this season? Playoffs, for sure. Do, do you think there's an area that needs to be improved upon between now and week one? Defense. We need to get better at defense. We need to stop the run. Stop the run. What about for you, Kyle? What are you focused on the rest of camp? Uh, not letting our, not letting the wide receivers get behind us. We have a lot of tendencies to let the wide receivers get behind us, DBs, and that can't happen if we want to get to the playoffs. Well, it sounds like it's time for run defense practice, according yep. to that announcement. So we'll let you guys get back to it. Thank you for joining us. Good luck this year. That's going to do it for this edition of the warm up presented by Blanchard Valley Health Systems. For Mark Koontz and Amber Chambers, I'm Matt Finkel. We'll see you next time on WOSM.